very used to doing this. What's the weather been like out here? Not raw. Right the last week or so anyway. That's more you can say from our trip out here. Most people have been sick. <laughs> you might wonder why I'm hailing them through a loudspeaker rather than doing what would be much easier, and that's just go on board. Well, the Marine Offences Act doesn't actually make it illegal for me to go on board, but it does make it illegal for the captain of this boat to encourage me to go there. So that's why I won't be going. It also makes it illegal to install or <coughs> take out radio apparatus, which you know is going to be used for offshore broadcasting. It's illegal to advertise on the station or even to publish advertisements for it. And it's also illegal to help the station in any way by taking supplies, either food or records or anything like that, in a British boat. So how does Caroline get to be still here despite the act? Well, first of all, whilst the station is illegal, it is not possible to prosecute it under the Marine Offences Act. The ship is not British. Lloyd's Register of Shipping record it as being owned by a Panamanian company, Rosebud Shipping SA and it's anchored outside British territorial waters. It's the high seas which they tried to hit, and they could only hit it imperfectly because this rule of international law that you can't extend your jurisdiction to a foreign ship. What the Act does is really to make illegal a lot of actions which would be covered generally under the words operating or participating. Mike Stevens. That all makes life on a pirate ship sound a bit impractical. I asked the people on the Mi Amigo how they coped. How'd you get your mail brought out here? Well, the mail goes to Spain, and you get supplies from Spain, and we get the mail, well, once a month. Sometimes the mail arrives late. Oh. It's always good to get it when it does arrive. I mean, it must be a bit like being in World War Three or something stuck out here. Or in a monastery. Or in a monastery. I was going to say. <laughs> to, what is, what's it like in winter? I mean, to me, it's rough enough now. I mean, you look pretty stable, but you're anchored down, aren't you? It's a very good ship. It may look a bit rusty at I was, the moment. I was going to say, it looks a bit battered up your end. It's been very well built as a radio ship. It's been very carefully designed. It was built in Texas. And as you can see, it really is remarkably stable. Yeah, you're not bothering about We're going up and down like a yo-yo here. <laughs> Do you, can you play whatever records you like? Yeah, yeah. It's the only station anyway. You can just play what you like, which is really nice. What, no playlist? Nothing. 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 One thing I always wanted to ask you is if you're on a boat, why doesn't the needle jump up and down on the record? Well, it does sometimes. Um, is that a really dopey question? No. No, well... The Does ship, it move around a bit in the winter? The ship tends to move steadily rather than very suddenly. If you bang the floor, it will jump. But if the ship is um, rolling, if the ship's rolling, it's a gradual roll and it's not enough to make the needle jump. Roger, do you, do you play tricks on each other on your on your shows? Because sometimes I hear you saying, oh, so-and-so's trying to jump down through the hatch and stuff. Is that all real? Yeah, it's, it's a bit of that goes on. A so bit of that? I throw Wellington boots on here. <laughs> you, you throw boots at him? And those pipes. <laughs> and dead fish. <laughs> I think the funniest thing we did last summer, we'd been catching sharks. And we lowered a live shark down the hatch of the studio. <laughs> And the disc jockey that was on the air at the time suddenly saw this quite large shark, it was about three and a half feet, threshing around on the end of the line, and nearly had a heart attack. Well, the act has made it impossible to supply the Mi Amigo from England, and theoretically everything has to be shipped there from Spain. Even more damaging, the act makes it illegal for British firms to advertise on pirate radio. How could Caroline get round that? The Marine Offences Act effectively just wiped out all your British advertising in Britain. Didn't, it, didn't, it didn't block any kind of Canadian company or American company or any company around the world booking through, you know, a legitimate, you know, a, a country then that was saying it was all right to operate. And, you know, there are, as I say, over 100 countries 
that say Caroline is fine. It's five minutes before two o'clock. How would you like a Radio Caroline car to get put in the back of your... Tell me about the advertisements. How would you get them? Get a free one. We don't know too much about the sales office. Um, our main office is in Spain, but we get the text and sometimes text for the commercials which are brought out here with the supplies.